What are you doing? I'm sorry. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Okay. Oh, great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right, couldn't believe I. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the scene. Okay, that works too. Needed to go over to that side first. What a shame. that now correctly. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle piloting a blimp. An eagle piloting a blimp. That's, that's an interesting thing to try to figure to envision. Probably put a Photoshop of it. Eagle piloting a blimp. That would be fun. I would I would ride on that blimp. That'd be a fun blimp to ride on. Don't you think so? I'll put a, I'll make a poll for it as well. Enjoy I won't try to make a poll. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. That sounds fantastic. Okay, so there's that. Okay. I need to get over there. Oh, that, that's not how to get over there. Thank you. Crap. Did it. Hmm. 
Nailed it. Let's just uh, do this. Boing, boing. I need the cube. Let's go. Ha, ah, nailed it. Well, you passed the test. I didn't save a dare today. I did see some humans, but with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. With me here. So, I'm more... I, I call qualify as more than one test subject. The hell? The hell. Okay. I, I don't know. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. But what if I wanted to do it? Did it. I missed. Good job. So close. And I missed. Oh, thank god I pick up right from here. Gonna make it this time. Ha, made it. Did it! Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did sure. you get sharks? Because that's wrong. Oh. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Ha <laughs> ha. I guessed sharks. I was wrong. Way to go. Just, just, just wow. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. One second here. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. There we go. Sorry, my power supply for my computer was being a little wonky there on my end. You wouldn't notice anything, but I did. And it did it again. Something wrong with my wire. Oh, there it goes. All right, all better now. Perfect. The door is malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Um. There's nothing for me hey, to touch. Hey, oh, where are here. you? I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird, 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 bird. Way to go. 
probably the bird in it that made the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes. Keep testing. Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. Got it. Never I saw you. I spoke with the doorman friend. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. I don't know what you did to the door, but, um, the, the door did nothing to you. So, don't do anything to the door. Because the door's a nice person. Um, why did that fall down there? You know what? Never mind. So let's put you there, and let's do that, and we did it. Well done. In fact, you did so well, I'm going to note this on the file, in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. Good. At least I'm getting some sort of commendation, and for all these tests, yes, commendation. test involves turrets. You remember them, right? Yes, They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. That was close. Good luck, bitch. Okay. Oops, shit. That missed. I knew there was more cubes over here. Totally knew there was more cubes over here. Genius. Couldn't have done it better. Why will this not fit through the door? Okay, what the hell? Oh, this is broken. Hey, we a uh, blue spherical thing. I found a way out. I think. Thank you. Is there cake? Cause I like cake and cake likes me. Um, 
like this. There's one there. One. I'm really close. Let's just do that you know thing how I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 16 years? Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. I'm curious about this experiment now. Can we jump right to it? It sounds like a better test than what we're doing. A much, much better test. So much better of a test that that I that don't know. That you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. Awesome. Okay, I need to remember how to do this without getting killed. I need to get over there. How do I get over there again? I need to get up there. Did it. Idiots. Shit. Hi. with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Maybe my parents? Nah. Maybe maybe siblings? Nah. They're gonna be cousins. And not just like those immediate kind of cousins that are like there and in your face. This is gonna be the kind of cousin that's just like never been mentioned. Surprise <laughs> waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. The long lost cousins. I think I think seeing these long lost non existent cousins that just are there would be a good thing for our character. Oh shit, I thought you were dead. Now you're dead. Thank you. Nobody loved you anyways. He's a jolly good fellow, really. That's... Okay. That was pointless, but okay. That, that was awesome. Gotcha. It's a 
says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Oh, that's good. At least you know that's not what the test was for. We got another one of you. Um. I think I know. By golly, George, I figured it out. Maybe. Yeah, I think I did. That is not what I was thinking to do. Just ignore that. That's what I was thinking. Fair enough. Close enough. There we go. I Did it. you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. I think it's parents. But you know what? I don't think we meet our parents. I think she's going to be a dick and is lying about her parents. Cause that's a GLaDOS thing to do. Yeah, guys. Ooh, a surprise. 